So what are we looking at with all these crazy people everywhere? So this is Comicat. Comicat. Uh, short for Comic Market, Comic which Market. is a um, uh, it's a semi-annual, twice a year event in Japan where they buy and sell dojinshi, which are fan-made comics. Fan-made comics, exactly. dojinshi. Mm -hmm. And this is in Japan? In, yes. In yeah. Tokyo? In Tokyo, uh, Tokyo Big Site, the big convention center. They take it over twice a year and uh, bring in all these various people uh, to, to buy and sell comics. Um, the, the interesting thing about it is, among many things, is that the only requirements are you have to have drawn it yourself and publish it yourself. Oh. So you could be any person in the world. Could you have help? Publishing um, or drawing? Um, you can have help publishing and drawing, um, but only in as much as you know, you're putting the money in, you're, you're, um, you're directing the whole thing. So you can't have sold it to a publisher, for example. Hmm. Uh, it has to be something that you made and, and you're putting out there. Wow. So, so you would be the owner of the content yep. rather than something that was copyrighted and published and mm -hmm. packaged and formalized in the standard business practices. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah. So can anybody... Any, anybody that uh, anybody can 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 go there and publish it. Um, I wonder, I could draw one. And sure, submit it. <laughs> my first dojinchi. Why not? There we are. <laughs> um, now, a lot of the dojinchi there are parody uh, dojinchi, so they will take an existing anime series or manga series and uh, recast the characters in a new story. Um, sometimes it's a rather naughty story. Uh, <laughs> often it's a very, rather naughty story. Uh, but there are also a lot of original stories, too. So you can go and you can tell your own story with your own characters and sell that, too. This sounds like a very creative outlet for fan fiction. And yes. people who think, what could be if mm -hmm. thus and such happened? Absolutely. And that was originally the, the intent, is that there weren't a lot of uh, conventions out there. This started in 1975. Uh, and so the, a lot of the conventions out there were more in the American mode mm -hmm. of being very general purpose, where there are panels and video rooms and all those th things. And this kind of stuff was kind of off in a corner. Mm -hmm. And so they said, no, we, we want to have our own space just for, to do this. Wow. So with, with people self-publishing, do mm -hmm. they end up with followers? Uh, Very much so. Continually come? Yeah. So um, uh, one of the kind of reasons to go to Comic Cat is that that's where you can go and get some of these uh, dojinshi. Some of the, they're called circles, the folks who, who make these things, mm -hmm. uh, the, the groups. Uh, some of them will sell in like used bookstores or consignment shops or other other places like that. Um, but certainly the the biggest and best known place is Comic Cat. So if you're going to get it, Comic Cat's probably going to be where you're going to find it. Would they also sell anime, or is it strictly it is hand it is print? just it is just comics. Just comics. Just comics. And they've, they've talked about that over time. The, the first comic hit they, they did, they showed some anime in the afternoon. They said mainly because there wasn't much to do in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> With this many people. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, but, but back then, there were a lot, lot, lot fewer people. Uh, so they said it was kind of dead by Saturday afternoon, so they'd show something. Um, but they've actually even gone away from that because they want to be very pure about their intentions. This is just for comic creators. Wow. Yeah. It, it's, it's a pretty major thing. Now, of course, besides just uh, the creators there selling their stuff... You also get folks uh, doing cosplay, showing up and doing their, their things. I think we have an image here somewhere. Uh, yeah, so there's um, a bunch of folks uh, out front with their, co their costumes on. Uh, so it's a big place to show off your, uh, uh, your, your latest cosplay. Wow. Yeah. Half a million twice people. a year. Twice a year, half a million people. Hmm. Yeah, and about 35,000 circles in attendance every year. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a definitely a, a major thing. Now, one of the problems being so big is you now get to the point where it's hard to get all the manga you want when you go there. Oh. Uh, so folks will actually chart and, and they'll actually uh, write maps of where they want to go. <laughs> I'm going here and then there and then there. Okay, divide and conquer. You go here Absolutely. and get two for me. I'll go there and I'll get two for you. And Exactly how it works. In the anime series Lucky Star, there's a whole episode about them having to go and do that at Comic Cat one, one year because uh, it's just so hard. One of the characters drafts some of her friends into uh, going and, okay, you're going here, you're going there, and we'll be back up at lunch. Uh, but yeah, it's a big deal. Well, now with, with cosplay... Mm. It's hard to imagine cosplay without photographers. Oh, yeah. Sure. Do they have any sort of pageantry or photo shoots that go on? So uh, a lot of cosplayers will gather outside, uh, and that's where the, uh, the, the photographers will gather. Generally speaking, you don't want to even try to take photos inside just because of the crush of the crowds. 
Uh, so folks gather outside and do the photography. There are uh, there have been some rules that are developed over time uh, as to, for example, the angle of the camera. That that's that could be a very sensitive subject. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. So uh, there there's there's expectations about how you do that, but generally speaking, folks, you know, that you you're there, you pose, you take your photos, and then you move on. Wow. It's 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 really neat. Um, and it's something that's just grown over time based on demand. I mean, it's one of the neat things is there's, there's no company behind it trying to push it. It's just a bunch of, of fans trying to make it over time. Wow, truly the power of the people. <laughs> exactly, yeah, totally. Uh, and again, to get half a million people twice a year is, is quite the accomplishment. Uh, but yeah, that, that's Comiket. Um, if you're ever uh, in Tokyo down near Odaiba, you'll see a Tokyo big site, which is where it's, it's held. And uh, you can take some photos of that. And uh, uh, if you're ever in the area, it's, it's, it's a crush, but uh, you can certainly get in. To Tokyo Big Site is almost its own icon. <laughs> uh, it's very characteristic with the huge triangles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, in fact, we have and, some. Uh, there you can see the two triangles in the background. Mm -hmm. it's everyone it's actually there. four of them, but you can only see so many of them at the yeah. same time. Yeah. A lot of people. <laughs> well, uh, plan a trip. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime kind of experience if you're not from the area. Uh, and folks will line up you know, the day before, things like that. But it's a, it's a big deal. It's fun. Excellent. Cool. Well, thank you for telling me about Comic-Con. You're very welcome.